Hey guys, welcome to our last day of our 2020 online VBS called Courageous. We have another fun-filled night planned, so stay tuned. And for one last time, why don't you say hi to all of our VBS crew leaders. Guys, say hello. Hey yo, hey yo guys, it's your buddy John. Just want to say welcome to VBS. Hi guys, welcome to VBS. My name is Rachel. You will have a blast. Hey guys! It's Miss Barbara here. So glad you're here for VBS. You're gonna have a blast. Hey everybody, Christina Kay here, and I am super excited to have an amazing and fun week with you guys. Hey boys and girls, my name is Diane. I'm looking forward to a great week at VBS. I know you're gonna have a super time. Hey guys, it's Miss Nara here. Welcome to VBS. Hey everybody, Debbie here. I'm so excited for an amazing week of VBS. Are you ready to be blessed? Hi guys, this is Lisa. Come and have some fun with us today at VBS. Hi, Doc Stan here. Looking forward to another wonderful VBS with all you guys. Have fun. Hi everybody, it's Eva and Sal. And we're here to welcome you to VBS. Hope you have a blast. Hi everyone, it's Evelyn Capitzer. And Leona. I want to let you know that VBS may look a little different this year, but you're still going to have a lot of fun. Okay guys, let's get to what's planned for tonight. This whole week we've been talking about a guy named, that's right, Daniel, and how through God he was courageous. Tonight we are going to look at the fifth and final part of the story, the den of lions. This is a story of some jealous enemies of Daniel, a dangerous den of lions, and a miracle from God. As we explore today's Bible lesson, we'll discover that God resists the prideful and is our salvation. But before we get into that, you know what time it is, my favorite time. Get up off that couch and let's worship God. Show your love I'm loved by you Purify my heart In all I do I will love my friends And my enemies You died for me Now I believe We're blessed and always will be and daughters of the King will mourn your tears. We're blessed and always will be sons and daughters of the King will mourn your tears. You are forever our King. Jesus, help me be like you. Oh, 
provider. You're my father, my savior, my Lord. Whoa, oh, oh. We know your name. We trust in you. For you are great. Whoa, oh, oh. We look to you for all our days. You'll see. Awesome guys, you can sit back down, okay? So like it was said before, today we're learning one of the coolest stories in the Bible. We're gonna see what happens when someone tries to hurt one of God's people. It's Daniel and God versus a den full of hungry lions. Let's check it out. Darius the Mede rose to power after King Belteshazzar, and he decided to divide his kingdom into 120 smaller areas, called provinces. This was a huge undertaking, and the king quickly found that, despite the fact that he was an elderly man now, there was no one in his kingdom as talented and trustworthy as Daniel. So the king Darius put Daniel in charge of his entire kingdom, being in control of so much of the kingdom made the other administrators jealous, and they began to look for a way to get rid of Daniel. The wicked advisors went to King Darius and said, O oh, great king, we are all in agreement that no one is as great as you. Because of this, we advise that you make a law that any person who prays to anyone other than you should be thrown into the lion's den. The king agreed to the law. But when Daniel heard that the law had been signed, he went to his house and prayed to God as he normally did. Just as they expected, the wicked advisors found Daniel praying in his house. They immediately went to King Darius and said, Daniel is breaking your law by praying to his God. You must send him to the lion's den. The king was heartbroken, and he spent the whole day looking for a way to save Daniel. But the law couldn't be broken. The king gave orders to have Daniel captured and thrown to the lions. The king told Daniel, May your God save you. After Daniel was thrown into the lion's den, a stone was brought and placed over the mouth of the den. King Darius sealed the stone with his own royal seal and the seals of his nobles so that no one could rescue Daniel. Then the king returned to his palace and spent the night fasting. He refused his usual entertainment and couldn't sleep at all that night. Very early the next morning, King Darius hurried out to the lion's den and called out, Daniel, servant of the living God, did your God rescue you from the lions? 
much to the king's surprise, Daniel answered, Long live the king! My God sent his angel to shut the lion's mouths so that they would not hurt me. The king was overjoyed, and he ordered that Daniel be lifted from the den. Not a scratch was found on him. Then the king gave orders to arrest the evil advisors who had plotted against Daniel. He had them thrown into the lion's den along with their wives and children. The lions leaped on them and tore them apart before they even hit the floor of the den. Then King Darius sent this message to the people of every race and nation and language throughout the world. Peace and prosperity to you. Everyone in my kingdom should tremble with fear before the God of Daniel, because he is the living God and he will endure forever. His kingdom will never be destroyed and his rule will never end. He rescues and saves his people. He performs miraculous signs and wonders in the heavens and on earth. He has rescued Daniel from the power of the lions. I can't believe them. I can't believe any king that we've had in this Babylonian kingdom would look back to Nebuchadnezzar and figure out, you don't mess with the God of the Hebrews. You don't mess with Daniel. What's wrong with Darius? Wow. What's wrong and... with King Darius? Okay, hello to you, Mr. Grouchy. Did you hear? Yeah, I heard. Did you hear? Yeah, I did hear. Daniel? Yes, I Where heard. Where he got thrown into? I know. They're never gonna get it. What's wrong with these kings? Uh, you know, they just they just think they, they own this world. Well, you know, they think they're little gods. I know. And, you know, and, and I can't blame Darius. I can't blame King Darius. Oh, yeah. You know, he had a soft spot for Daniel. He did. You know, he, he really did. didn't want to throw him in the den. No. Lions, you no. know that. All of them, the, those counselors and uh, whatever they call them. They're manipulative. Oh, yeah, you hear what they did to him? I heard. They but told, you're hey, going to hey, tell hey, me, hey, aren't you? King, yeah, of course okay. I'm going to tell you, because okay. I'm just so here. King Darius. You know, over the next 30 days, why don't you have an edict that nobody prays to anybody but you? Now, you know Daniel prayed three times a day. Daniel prayed three times a day. You think he's yep. going to stop? Absolutely not. Come on. They probably had his room. They have to have somebody watching they, him. Oh, yeah, you know they paid somebody mm. to be like, doo-doo, doo Oh, doo -doo, yeah, they were doo -doo, watching. Doo -doo, they were oh, watching. they were watching. They were watching. But, they had him. you know, the king had to follow his own rule. And he had to. He can't look bad. He's a king. But I can't they figure out in. one thing though, Rich. What? What happened in the lion's den? <laughs> oh, well, you know. Because you know those lions were hungry. They were very hungry. But you know our God. But they don't get it. They still don't get it. They, the, those lions didn't even sniff him. Didn't even scratch him. I heard he was down there, friend. Yep. Well, I know I'd be down there, friend. But I heard Daniel was still. Yep. Friend. The next morning, look down there. Good as anything. But you heard what happened to those guys, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. That was bad. Yeah. That was really bad. Daniel, Daniel got out. They went in. In. Hey. Yep. Yeah. Well, Met those lions. I do feel better talking to you about it. But when are they going to get it? You know what? Our God is good. I don't know. Our God is real good. When are they going to get it? Hopefully one day. So, well, anyway, I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to tell my wife, no yeah. more of these. Yeah, you know what? So, Maybe God will give you the strength to take that off. I Just see you, like Rich. God gave Daniel I'll strength. See. Okay. Have a good one. So you know what? The thing I learned, God, if God can give Daniel the strength to stand up for his beliefs and he survived, God can do anything. I just gotta remember that. God, give me strength to stand up for my beliefs. Leaders, what do you think of this one? I learned a bunch of things through the story of Daniel. The biggest thing I learned is that when we follow God and His commandments, it puts us in the best position possible. Like how it helped Daniel work hard and avoid temptations to do the wrong thing and led him to being in a very powerful position. I learned having a close relationship with God is the safest place we can be. And God will protect us like He protected Daniel. Those are some awesome points. If you guys agree, I want you to get up and make the biggest muscles you can and shout courageous. Let me see those muscles. Nice. Alright, you can sit back down. 
So every night we're gonna get two things to memorize. One is our big idea and the other is our memory verse. Let's hear our big idea and memory verse right now. A close relationship with God gives us the confidence we need to do what is right no matter what is going on. My God sent his angel and shut the lion's mouths and they have not harmed me because I was found blameless before him. Daniel 6, 22. Okay guys, it's t-shirt time again. So everyone pull out your VBS t-shirts and then your fabric markers. Tonight is the last night we're gonna draw something new on our shirts to remember what we learned. So flip your shirts to the back and as big as you want, we're gonna draw something about today's lesson. Maybe a picture of Daniel in the lion's den or a picture of all the lions or a picture of how you felt when you heard the story. Whatever will remind you of tonight's lesson, you're gonna draw it as big as you want on the back of the shirt. This is the last day, so decorate whatever you want. So pause the video now and take a few minutes to do that. And then when you're done, press play. Okay, all done? Those shirts are looking awesome. Now it's time for our Bible quiz. So here's what you gotta do. Tell whoever you're with that has a Facebook to follow Axis Kids. We're gonna make a post to see who gets the most right each night, and we'll see who can get the most right. Let's check it out.
way to end off the week. I learned so much. It was so incredible. You guys need to shout out some things that you learned. Let me hear you. Come on, last week, let me hear you guys as loud as you can. Those are some awesome things you guys learned. You guys have been awesome this entire week. Let's review tonight's big idea. It's a close relationship with God can give us confidence to do what is right no matter what. And our memory verse is, My God sent his angels and shut the lion's mouths, and they have not harmed me, because I was found blameless before him. Daniel 6.22. Man, that was awesome. Remember, guys, have someone record yourself saying those big idea memory verses. If you can do all of them, even better, I guarantee you'll get a special post if you can memorize all of them. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming out and hanging out with us for this week. We had such a great time. We hope you guys did too. Remember, so check us out, Sunday services, there's still crazy videos going on showing our kids service. We have a mid-week uh, video where you can see going crazy at home with me and see crazy talking dogs and animals. We have such an awesome time. So the fun doesn't end here. So hopefully, we'll see you guys later. Have a good one.